Welcome to another episode of Alex Haney Adventures. Today is my 30th birthday and we're in the Everglades. Ever since I was a kid, I've wanted to come to the Everglades. The Everglades to me is a dream destination. It is so green all year round. There are thousands and thousands of alligators. The nature here is amazing and I've seen it on all kinds of TV shows and I've always wanted to come here. So for my 30th birthday, I came to the Everglades and so far I am not disappointed. On this episode, we're going to just explore the Everglades, walk around, hike a little bit, drive around and see just what we can find. Uh, I hope you enjoy this episode of Alex Haney Adventures. Happy birthday to me and thank you for tuning in. All right guys, I found my first gator here in Florida. I'm driving to the Everglades to the last spot so that I can drive all the way back and right on the side of the road here, resting on the grass, is a huge, like, six-foot alligator. Check this out. Look at how beautiful he is. Wow, that is a huge gator. You can see him just resting there on the grass. Check out those eyes. He's giving me a smile. He's like, yeah, I know you're there. I know you're there. I see you. How cool is that? All right, that was very cool. That was my first gator here in the Everglades. It was about six and a half feet long and it was just chilling there on the side of the road in the grass. Eventually, it swam back into the river and swam off. So for now, we're gonna head down Highway 41 and continue into the park and see what other cool creatures we can find. Look at the size of that alligator gar. Holy cow. It's just swimming right there. Wow, the thing is huge. That's gotta be at least 10 pounds, maybe 12. That guy's huge. Look at how these fish are cleaning off this gator right here. That's insane. All right, my first stop was the Oasis Visitor Center. And let me tell you, this visitor center is amazing. They have a boardwalk here that runs right along the river where you can see all kinds of animals. All kinds of birds, all kinds of fish, including hundreds and hundreds of alligator gar and perch, as well as some smallmouth and largemouth bass if you're lucky. This place is very, very, very cool and definitely worth stopping by and spending at least 30 minutes checking out the place. All right, I am finished with the Oasis Visitor Center and the ranger here told me to go to Kirby Storter Roadside Park, which is a park that you can get to at about 10 minutes from here. And it's where you can view some of the cypress trees in the swamps. And he said, you're guaranteed to see tons of wildlife there. So it's about a 10 minute drive and I'm gonna head there right now. The walkway that I'm on here in the roadside park is beautiful. It takes you right over the grasslands. And apparently a lot of the water that flows through these grasslands comes from a lake. And I forgot exactly what lake he told me uh, it flows from, but it flows kind of south east or southwest um, down through the Everglades and keeps a lot of these grasslands uh, fertile throughout the year. So I'm hoping to see some wildlife. I'm hoping to see some cool birds, maybe even a snake or two. Um, but you never know what happens over here in the Everglades, so stay tuned to uh, see what I find. I don't know if you can see this, but do you see that there's a tiny little lizard right there? 
right there. That's pretty cool. The landscape changes so quickly here. I started this boardwalk maybe a quarter mile in and it was kind of dry grasslands and now I'm in the middle of a swamp. Look at how the cypress tree roots just grow and then boom, there's a big old cypress. Look at that blue heron off in the distance. He's just waiting for some fish to come by. That's pretty cool. Although I haven't seen any alligators on this trail, if you're a bird lover, this is definitely the place for you. There are so many birds hanging out in the swamp. If you can see right behind me, you can see the swamp with all the plants, and there's a few turtles hanging out, but there's tons of birds, beautiful birds. Um, so if you're a bird lover, this trail, this roadside park is definitely for you. Um, I heard about a big cypress boardwalk that another tourist or person who was walking on this boardwalk told me about. And I might give that a shot if I can find any service here in the park because I hear that's also beautiful and a must see here in the park. But uh, it depends if I get service. And if I don't, we'll see where the adventure takes me. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. This park is absolutely beautiful so far. All right, so I got here and the boardwalk is closed. I didn't know that before coming. Uh, I arrived here, there's no signs or anything that says it's closed ahead of time. Um, so I was asking a few other people that were also finding out that the boardwalk was closed and they said that there's a lookout just two or three miles down the road uh, that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go see if I can find that and uh, keep the adventure going. Right now I'm doing the scenic loop drive which is uh, in the southern part of the park and it just takes you through a sort of canopied area where you drive through some of the swamps in the park. Um, you stay in your car most of the time. I haven't come across any hiking yet, but I hope to do some. I'm sure there's a few trails out here. Um, but I've seen quite a few alligators, quite a few birds. It's very, very scenic and it's a nice way to get out of the places where, you know, most of the tourists are. In order to be on this road, you kind of have to have at least a tall two-wheel drive car or a four-wheel drive car. Thankfully, I have the Jeep, so I'm in four-wheel drive right now, um, so I'm not worried about getting stuck. Um, but it's a beautiful road. It's got a lot of sights and a lot of wildlife, so it's super exciting, and uh, I'm gonna continue driving down and uh, see what where the road takes me. Guys, check out this alligator that I found chilling in the river on the side of the road. He's about seven feet long. Alligators can swim and run faster than people, so I'm gonna make sure to keep my distance. But I just had to pull over because that is so, so cool. Look at these guys just chilling on the side of the road. Look at that. Wow. Wow. I just pulled over to the side of the road to check out this swamp area. You can see the cypress trees growing out of the river and uh, the water is so calm here. You can see the reflection of the trees. It's absolutely gorgeous. Hey guys, check out this blind alligator. Do you see his eye? It's all white. That's pretty wild. Today has been an absolutely amazing day here in the Everglades. There is no other way I would have liked to have spent my 30th birthday. We started the day off at the Oasis Visitor Center where we saw huge alligators, huge alligator gar, and even some other fish like perch and maybe even some bass. And then we drove to an outdoor park where we walked along the grasslands here in the Everglades and those grasslands eventually turned into a swamp. And the cherry on top of that was finishing the day off with the scenic drive here in the Everglades. It was about 20, 26 miles. And um, there we saw a bunch of alligators, a bunch of cool fish, and a bunch of beautiful sights. I'm glad I am turning 30. It is the turn of a new decade, and I'm excited to see what comes next, what adventures I have, and what I'm able to discover. Thank you again for tuning in to this episode of Alex Haney Adventures, and I will see you on the next one.